Hi guys, welcome to our ICT class. Today we will start our lesson and it's called Looking Ahead with Minecraft and as we get used to, we will go to our studio.co.org and I want from your mom to help us. Yes, I want from your mom to help us. How is that? Dear mom, can you please open the PDF file for your son? The PDF file will come with this class and it will contain the link for our class today. Once you click it, it will directly take you to that class. And after your son watch this video, they can directly go to the lesson and start to do the work. But right now, I need to explain everything starting by this Jens video. My name is Jens Bestia, but I'm better known as Jeb. I'm the lead developer of Minecraft here at Mojang in Stockholm. I think I was 11 or maybe 12 and I started a, a programming because I wanted to make games and one of my father's friends told me that in order to make games you need to learn to how to program. So, that, so that's how I got started. I, I like designing and figure out, figuring out the architecture of, of things. That's what, what I really like about Minecraft. Over the next hour, you're going to learn the basics of computer science by programming Alex or Steve to move through a simulated piece of a Minecraft world. Traditional programming is usually in text, but today we'll use Blockly, a system which uses visual blocks that you can drag and drop to write programs. Under the hood, you're creating JavaScript code. The concepts that you'll be learning are what computer programmers use every day and are the foundation to computer science. Here at Mojang, we use these same concepts to make Minecraft work. Before you start, you'll pick your character. I'm going to choose Alex. Let's build code for a program that will help her move around the screen. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is the Minecraft play space, where your program will run. The instructions for each level are written below. This middle area is the toolbox and each of these blocks is a command that directs Alex's actions. The white space on the right is called the workspace and this is where we'll build our program. If we drag the move forward block to our workspace and then click run, what happens? Alex moves forward one space on the grid. And what if we wanted to do something after she moves forward one space? We can add another block to our program. I'm going to choose the turn right block and I'll drag it underneath my move block until this orange line appears. Then I'll drop it and the two blocks will snap together. When we press run again, Alex will perform the commands that are stacked from top to bottom in our workspace. And if you ever want to delete a block, just drag it from the stack back to the toolbox. To undo your changes and get back to how the level started, use the start over button in the top right corner of the workspace. One more thing, you see the little triangle on the turn blocks? Anytime you see these triangles, it means that you can pick a different option. Let's start coding. Yes, let's start coding. Now, first of all, I need to choose my character. While I'm a girl, of course, I'm going with Alex. And if you are a boy, simply go with Steve. Now, let me choose my character, my hero, Alex. Now, first, add a second move forward block to reach the sheep. Now, I have here one move forward, and I need to add one more move forward. Let's run. Nice. Let's take it easy. And now, let's continue. Okay, now, wood is a very important resource. Many things are made from it. Walk to the tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down. Now, first I need Alex to move forward to the tree. How many times I need her to move? One time, two time, and then destroy. Move forward, move forward, and then destroy block. Now let's hit run. Very good. Now let's continue. Okay, 
Now, sheep's shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. I need Alex to move forward two times and then shear. And after she reaches at this point, where does she need to turn? She needs to turn right and then move forward one time and shear. Very good. Now, first, move forward, move forward, shear, turn right, move forward, and shear. Good. Now let's run. Perfect. Now, let's continue. Okay. Now we need to build a house before the sun goes down. But houses require a lot of wood. Cut down all three trees. Now I have three trees in here. I need to cut down these trees so I can have the wood so I can build my house. First, I need to see in here how many blocks do I have. I have moved forward one time, two times, three times, and then destroy block. It means Alex will walk three times move forward and destroy the first tree then she will turn left while she's here she will turn left and move forward one time but in order to see this how many time left i need her to run and to see where she will reach perfect now i can see how many blocks i need to move forward one two destroy two time move forward and destroy block now let's reset and run okay now i need her what to do to turn right she need to turn right or to turn left perfect right is wrong she need to turn left and then move forward how many times count it one two three and then what destroy perfect these are my champions okay now three times move forward one try destroy reset and run Now let's continue. Okay, right now, let's watch this video. I'm Lydia Winters, Moying's brand director, and we made a little game called Minecraft. My favorite thing to do in Minecraft is to explore. I love adventuring in caves and seeing what I can find. As someone who isn't a programmer, I'm really excited to go through the Minecraft lessons and actually learn some coding myself. The last level needed lots of move forward blocks. It would be easier if we could just tell the computer to perform the move forward command four or five times. Luckily for us, computers are really good at repeating commands with repeat loops. When building Minecraft, we use repeat loops to place all the initial materials for creating a new world. That's thousands and thousands of blocks. We also use loops in little ways. For example, to make Alex's feet move back and forth as she walks. Repeat loops are a powerful part of programming. Night is coming, so in the next couple of levels, we're going to build a house to stay safe. We're going to use the repeat block to do this very easily. To build the wall of our house, we can either tell Alex to move forward and place planks four times, or we can tell her to move forward and place one plank that takes this command and use the repeat block to have her perform the action multiple times. Now we'll click on the repeat block and tell her how many times we want her to perform this action. Now let's build our house before night falls. Have fun. Yes, let's have fun while we want to build the house. Now, everyone start with a wall. Build the first part of your house by putting the place and move forward command inside the repeat loop. Now I have the repeat loop in here. And I need Alex to build first wall. First, I need her to build 
to place and then I needed to go with move okay after we place patch we will go and move forward yes so first I need her to build move forward build move forward build move forward build okay how many times I need to repeat this condition four times perfect now let's run Very good. Now let's continue. Okay, now I need to choose the floor plan for my house. Now let's build a house and I want it to go easy. So I'm going to select the easy one because I want my house to be simple. That's it. Now, first of all, Alex is here. I built the first wall and I need to continue the whole of my house. So, first I need her to move forward, build. Move forward, build. Move forward, build. Perfect. I have this block. After she reaching here, she will turn right. And I need to repeat the same thing. I need to put return, a repeat block and then move forward, build move forward and build no only three times i'm sorry guys okay now once you reach here it means you need to repeat the same condition three times after she reach she reach here where she need to turn again turn right and then i need this one but be careful at this point let's run to see alice where she will reach so i can explain it very well for you guys Okay, now she reached at this point. I need her only to move forward how many times? Two times. And I need her to build only two times. So, move forward and build. That's it. How many times to repeat this condition? Two times. Good. Now let's reset and run. Very good. Now my house is ready. Now let's continue. Okay. Right now, we need to plan ahead. Plant crops on both sides of the water so you don't get hungry later on. I need to plant these sides here so my Alex won't be hungry. Now, first, I need her to plant crop and then move forward. But do I need to repeat this? No, I can use repeat block, put this inside it, and I will save time. So, I only need to put it once and it will be repeated six times. Let's see, how many? One, two, three, four five six good now let's run and see where she will reach good now she is at the top what I need her to do is to turn right and again move forward how many times one two good two time move forward and then I need, let's see where she will reach. Good. Now, I need her again to turn right and to repeat the same first block. But be careful that I wanted first to move forward, plant crop. Okay? Yes. Now, let's run. Now, let's continue. Okay, 
now what I need to do is to running into my house because it's a creepy outside but I need to be very careful the way I let my Alex walk now first of all what I need to do is to turn where turn left perfect and then what I need to do is to let my Alex move forward how many times one two three good I wanted to move three times move forward once Alex reach at this point where do I need her to turn turn right and then move forward one time she will go here and turn left move forward okay and she will go here but I need her to repeat the same thing turn right move forward turn left move forward right okay now I need this to be repeated how many times two times good now let's head run Very good. Now Alex in her house. Very good, guys. Now we will stop in practice number nine. Now, guys, you can finish this by yourself, and we will have part two class. And you will see if you are doing it the practices. Okay. Now. You will do practice number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 by yourself. So I want you guys to practice it by your own. And after that, you will see part 2. So it will be so good for you. Okay? See you in the part 2. Bye.